What is up, my friends? Jesse with Just Man Sports Cards. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today, we're going to go over the breakdown of my collection, basically, and how I track stuff. Should go pretty quick, and then we'll jump into the giveaway, and I'll randomize them right in front of you and show how I went through and did everything on that. So I basically keep a big sheet like this. Uh, it has my inventory on it. Um, this is like, I do the top 50 videos. This is where I plug everything in, sort it, um, so I can see which card actually has the most market value. On those videos, I don't always show the value, but, um, and then this is for 2023, and then I had the comparison to see what flip-flopped. Uh, this is breakdown by player. This is what we'll go over today, because I'm going to title the video, video something is, is my collection at risk? Um, this gives you an example of how I do stuff. I just organize it by last name typically. So Aikman would be at the top. Um, like sometimes I do stuff in like bulk grouping. So if Troy Aikman, Gallery of Heroes, when I pick them up raw, I enter them. And then when I grade them, I add the grading cost in the grade. And then if I just buy it graded, uh, this promotion, I, grade, I bought it graded. I just enter the cost as long as as well with the shipping and tax so everything entered um what i will do is say i sell this gallery of heroes for 50 bucks on ebay that's like take home 44 dollars so then i would have made what is that like 16 i forget like 16 bucks yeah something like that 17 bucks uh, I would wipe this out from the inventory, so I just completely delete this line, and then I would like zero this out. I would zero out sixteen dollars worth of stuff with Android Aikman, but I would leave that I still had the raw card. Um, unless it's like a three dollar raw card, I would just delete this line, and then when I add it up, it shows me like how much I'm at risk for the player summit for one fifty, and that's basically what I have here is this isn't necessarily how many Michael Jordan cards I have. It's my at-risk portion of my collection, essentially like the piece of my collection that hasn't paid for itself yet. I'm a long-term hold on Jordan, but I do sell some Jordan stuff. So the last time I did this is in 21. It's not been quite three years, but it's been long enough that I thought I should reevaluate it. I should be doing this every year. So I can be a little more focused and that's part of what I'm trying to get at is to be more focused. Uh, one of the big things that I changed this last six months is I really want to only be collecting top 10 players. Uh, the person that would fall out of that is Julius Irving. Probably he's not a top 10 player. Uh, but so we'll go through it. Um, green is if the, that part of the collection went up. Red is if that part of the collection went down. Michael Jordan went from 27% to 29%, so basically 2% more. I'm glad to see that. Uh, Kobe, I think this is the most I want to be exposed to Kobe, but Kobe rookie cards are expensive, and that's the main thing I collect. So I do keep an eye on probably six of his rookie cards, I would say. Um, I just purchased a pretty big one like a $160 one last week or so so I am still picking up stuff um, I don't know that I want to see this too much higher uh, I would like to see the Jordan grow Shaq uh, dropped by about a percent that's okay Iverson grew quite a bit um, I would mind getting this down to maybe five percent because he's not in the top ten Garnett I still pick up his cool inserts uh, from the 90s, 5% um, is probably a better number here. Ray Allen, um, I've changed my stance on Ray Allen, and I, I'm kind of wanting to exit this position right now. Uh, but the problem is, is his stuff has just collapsed over the last year, so I do have stronger hands than selling it at, at a loss. I'll sell it at break even, but uh, his stuff has really slowed down. Jabbar, ideally these, I'd like to like collapse all the Ray Allen into someone like Jabbar. Jabbar picked up 
a percent. That's good. I've been trying to target his higher grade vintage stuff. Duncan was about to push. Uh, I think his rookie stuff is highly underrated in my opinion. Um, not investment advice. Wax. I was able just to unload some wax boxes that I had held for a couple of years that were, it just made sense to sell them. They had doubled or whatnot in price. And then I kind of quit buying, I say that, uh, not as much wax. Pierce, um, wish that percent hadn't gone up. Uh, his stuff has gotten really cheap, but I've, I've quit picking it up. Julius Irving, glad to see that that position almost doubled. Star Wars went from 0 to 2.5. This is probably the highest I would like to see it. I'd gone from focusing on earlier stuff, this really rare stuff in the 70s. Um, and I have some... And a lot of this cost is actually grading costs. I graded, I don't know, close to 200 cards. So I'm kind of working through that. Vintage, uh, my exposure to that. Just selling cards. I sold some sets. Uh, so my exposure in the vintage market is a lot less. Um, this, this is kind of whole sets here. So I'd still consider Julius Irving, Jabbar for the most part is uh, vintage. Um, so that's where I'm at on that. Magic Johnson, uh, pretty big increase there. I had a much larger focus on Magic Johnson, uh, Larry Bird, and Jabbar over the last year, and then trying to focus less on some of the more modern players that aren't in the top 10. Dirk, uh, that's okay. Jokic, uh, pretty big jumper here. Um, I picked up some of his some big rookie cards, mainly rookie cards. Uh, I just did a dive kind of into his rookie cards as I tried to learn them more today on a personal note. Baseball, I'm trying to get all out of slowly. Uh, Griffey, I've been I finally graded some of his stuff that I had had for quite a while and moved some of that stuff. I still have some pretty nice big cards. Rice. Uh, picked up a couple of his cool 90s inserts. Akeem actually went down. Um, yeah, it kind of surprised me there because I, I, I picked up a couple of big cards. Nash went down. That's fine. Uh, Peyton's gone down, and then Larry Bird's moved up. So overall, pretty happy with the direction of my collection. I don't feel like it's at risk. I feel like it's pretty well diversified here, but I wouldn't mind moving. Uh, I mean, there's still other players because I, I grade a lot of stuff. So I think ideally I would like to be where my collection is down to like kind of 15 players or at like a percent or above and then kind of lose some of this. And maybe even 12 is a better number as some of these move out. So we'll, maybe I'll try to revisit this, revisit this in a year, and we'll go from there. So on to the giveaway. Uh, this is the video. This is kind of the backside where I can see analytics and stuff on the YouTube thing. Um, part of it was you had to be a subscriber. So I can see that you're a subscriber here. Uh, some people have set their subscriptions to completely private. Um, so if you're entering giveaways on YouTube, and the person says that you have to be subscribed. If you have it set to private, they can't see that you're subscribed. So you can just, I can go through here and then like uh, MJ, biggest fan. Uh, I could completely believe that you're subscribed, but I can't see it. Uh, so I have to kind of follow my own rules. Um, and then just if you're entering other stuff and not winning it at all, it's this is potentially why is the, uh, the content producer can't see that you're subscribed so then flip over to here and then sheet 25 so i just broke it down like this um about 30 people entered into each one we'll do kj first and what will happen here is i'm going to do it 15 times because that's Jokic's number uh and then I'll reach out to the first person and then if I'll give them 30 days to respond 
And if I don't hear from it in 30 days, I'll do to the second person. So here we go. One, two, three. It says at the bottom there, eh? If you can see that. Thirteen, fourteen, and here's the last one. So Meta Signman is number one. I'll reach out to him as well, and then uh, James Robinson is came in second. So if I don't hear from him, the first person, I appreciate everyone here. Uh, and then we still need to do uh, Ray Allen. So a little less Ray Allen people. I gave you the option to enter into both. Some people only enter into one, which is fine. I can see not necessarily. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I greatly appreciate all the support. Definitely helps and is much appreciated. And here's the last one. Uh, travel to collect. Um, I didn't say that, but I wasn't going to let the same person win twice. I would have done it another time to see. Uh, Nick Smolin is number two. So that's all I have for this video. Uh, more content to come.